Hello folks, I'm the old sergeant. The coronavirus outbreak could become a major cause of pandemic fatalities throughout the world. On the one hand, we have authoritative people giving dire warnings about this outbreak. On the other, the media is accused of hyping the pandemic for ratings and clicks. Both could be true. What is a coronavirus? According to Wikipedia, Coronaviruses are a group of viruses that cause disease in mammals and birds that include diarrhea in cows and pigs and upper respiratory disease in chickens. In humans, the virus causes respiratory infections, which are often mild, but in rare cases are potentially lethal. Not so rare anymore. Let's look at some of the current bullet points in the news. Outbreak spreads. 56 million quarantine. Case in Chicago. 22 states on alert. Europe hit. Coronavirus outbreak video shows dead bodies in halls of China Hospital. Doctor in Wuhan Hospital dies as coronavirus outbreak spreads. U.S. plans to evacuate citizens from epidemic-stricken Chinese city. China has now banned trains and planes from leaving Wuhan. Everyone will get infected. Nurse at Corpse Strewn Hospital says quarantine failing. China deploys military to fight coronavirus as confirmed infections approach 1,000. Health expert issued an ominous warning about a coronavirus pandemic three months ago. Their simulation showed it could kill 65 million people. China built a lab to study SARS and Ebola in Wuhan. The U.S. biosafety experts warned in 2017 that virus could escape the facility that's become key in fighting the outbreak. Coronavirus patient in Seattle treated with robot. With Wuhan virus genetic code in hand, scientists begin work on a vaccine. Disneyland in Shanghai, McDonald's in Wuhan to shunt temporarily amid virus outbreak. Such pandemics warn us to be prepared for potential shelter in your home situations where you would need food and water stored. It is estimated that in a major outbreak, it could take 18 months to two years for the virus to burn itself out. This is hard to do, but one should always be ready to shelter in your home for long periods of time in case of natural disasters or civil unrest. Many people have only days worth of supplies. Another related issue is that some countries are working on race-specific pathogens. Analyzing these pandemics is a way to calculate the spread of bioweapons. Some in Chinese leadership have already expressed a desire to kill all Americans and claim America and our resources for themselves. Imagine a pathogen that targets Caucasians. That would take out Russia, Europe, North America, and parts of Africa. A massive new territory with already built-in infrastructure and resources to migrate China's people to. The 10% of the people with immunity could be quickly dispatched by Chinese ground forces or used as slave labor. As Christians, we know that during the end times, the rapid spread of fatal diseases worldwide is going to happen. But we still mourn for the people. Please pray for the people of China and all the others that have contracted the illness. Pray that the virus quickly dissipates. I am the old sergeant. Stay active, stay prepared, stay vigilant.